for his first full-length work for the Royal Ballet, a resident young Turk of a choreographer, David Bintley, has chosen the currently vogue subject of the French adventurer with a double-nosed job, Cyrano de Bergerac. It's comic, tragic, epic. Um, and flamboyant, and I think very, very theatrical. But at, although the central story is very absurd, um, I think everybody understands Cyrano because everybody understands rejection and fear of rejection and, and love. Um, and I think that, that that's really powerful ingredients for, for dance. It's what dance does very well. Bintley was influenced by the Royal Shakespeare Company's stage production of Rostand's play, with Derek Jacobi as the unloved and persecuted poet warrior. Then came the screwball comedy Roxanne, and this year, of course, Gérard Depardieu hit the screens with an authentic movie version. And, just like a movie soundtrack, music was specially composed for Bintley's ballet version, by a veteran of film themes, Wilfred Josephs. But in a way, it's telling the story uh, without words. You know, it's, it's, it's different from the uh, usual sort of ballet, in a sense. It's, it's, uh, it's more like a silent movie, in a way, but it's, it's also very balletic. He had to be a composer who could write witty music and uh, wouldn't be afraid to write uh, love music, which is going to genuinely move a large audience. And I wanted to go for somebody more mature, a little bit, um, who had their, their language already there and that I found those traces in, so that he, he wouldn't feel uncomfortable about writing tonally and uh, uh, writing the big melody. He's timed it all in his head as to what he wants. And it's a matter of communicating that to me. And uh, once I realized that when it was marked in red or yellow uh, marker that this meant this was a set piece, they were actually dancing, I began to you know, make sense of it. David Bintley's last two ballets at Covent Garden were The Planets, to Holst's perennial favorite, and Hobson's Choice, also based on a stage play. What I'm trying to do with three-act format is to um, make ballets with sensible stories, stories which are real, and you can't make stories, uh, stories about um, fairies and princesses and things like that. So I'm making uh, ballets which have three-dimensional people in them. Then the movie, now there's the ballet. Je touche. Choreographer David Bintley Serrano receives its world premiere here in London tonight. It's his first full-length three-act work for the Royal Ballet and has been billed as the highlights of the season. Now we were lucky enough to be allowed into one of the rehearsals as they prepared for the big night. I hope you're going to get that step together and join in at the right time. You're also about 90% under what you should be. There is nothing happening. You have been scouring the town for this man who has defeated a hundred men single-handed. It doesn't look like that at all. I think everybody understands Cyrano because everybody understands rejection and fear of rejection and, and love. Um, and I think that, that that's really powerful ingredients for, for dance. It's what dance does very well. Les? That, that's much clearer with everything with the letter, but maybe did you feel it was a bit too long? The three-act ballet is a traditional 19th century form for a narrative ballet, but what's the attraction for a modern choreographer? And this still calm. What I'm trying to do with three-act format 
is to um, make ballets with sensible stories, stories which are real, and you can't make stories, uh, stories about um, fairies and princesses and things like that. So I'm making uh, ballets which have three-dimensional people in them. And so there is, on top of the choreographic input, um, a, a, an element of directorship, of, uh, of getting drama across. I've asked for it to be a bit slow. Something which has worked to Bintley's advantage, according to dance critic Judith McCrell, who spoke to us yeah. just before curtaining up. Three-act ballets are quite a rarity, partly because they're so expensive, um, and they're also very, very difficult to do. I mean, Frederick Ashton tried to avoid doing them as far as possible. The problem is that audiences like them. It just looked much easier and everybody sort of got there and sat. What, can you remember what you did the very first time weeks ago? I think or the problem for Bintley ago. is going to just after, be after finding the pace whereby you can tell it tale in a fairly leisurely way and then yeah. find the reasons so for the concentrated dancing without them looking artificial, contrived, unmotivated or whatever. Some people act better than others, some people dance better than others. It's, uh, uh, it's a question of finding the right people for, for the job, you know. Um, it's like Jeffries who's doing um, Cyrano. Um, I never had anybody else in mind because he is Cyrano to me. 